This is McFly Angler. starts now. To start, we will need a dry fly hook like these Risen 100s, and today I'm tying in a size 18. Place the hook securely in your vise. Now for thread, I really like this Vivas 16 knot, and today I'm using black. Start your thread a hook eye length or two from the eye of the hook, and then make even wraps down the hook shank until you reach just shy of the bend of the hook. Do not snip off the tag end though, we will need it in a minute. For the tail, these micro fivots work great. Snip off two of them that have the tips aligned. Measure out the tail to about one and a half times the hook shank length. Then make a pinch wrap and tie the tail down directly on top of the hook. Now make sure it's right on top or you will have some trouble in the next step. Tie the tail down to the bend of the hook and then bring your thread back up a wrap or two. Now my fibbits are angled to the far right of the hook, which is going to make this difficult. I wanted to show you this though, so you know why it's important to keep them perfectly straight on top. Anyway, bring the tag thread up between the fibbits and adjust the tail so it's split how you want it. Make two to three wraps to hold the thread in place, and then snip off the tag end thread and the fibbit butts. And you can see here how the tail is now split. Now we need some dubbing. You really want a very fine dubbing. I really like this UV2 fine and dry. Now I'm tying in black today, so let's grab a small amount of black dubbing and pull apart a bit so it's very sparse. Dub a very, very fine noodle onto your thread. I mean, we're almost touch dubbing here. Make one wrap under the tail to lift it up, and then start wrapping up the hook shank with touching wraps, trying to get a very even body. And there's really no need to taper it here. I actually needed a bit more dubbing. Usually you will probably need to take more off, but do either accordingly so you end up at about an eye length shy of the eye of the hook. Now we need a CDC puff. They come in a wide variety of colors, but simple white works great here. I like to wet the feather for easier tie-in. Make a pinch wrap to tie the feather tip directly in on top of the hook. Then pull the feather rearward a bit until the tips are not impeding the hook eye. Again, make sure this is directly on top of the hook. And you can rotate it a bit if you need. Anyway, tie this down with a few tight wraps and then cut it off so it's about a half a hook shank length. Now add a little more dubbing and wrap that noodle once under the wing and then create a small head on the fly as well. Then whip finish your fly and cut off the waist thread close. For head cement, I really like this Loon water-based cement here. Make a dab onto the whip finish, but don't worry about it getting in the eye of the hook or absorbing into the dubbing. It will dry clear, and you can simply snap the front of the hook to clear the hook eye. And there we have it, a finished RS2. I really like tying these very small. Actually, I usually tie them regularly down to size 24 and they make a great midge or trico imitator. They're simple enough to tie rather quickly and small. However, even though they're rather simple, it can be difficult to get the hang of. So don't stress if your first couple don't turn out perfect. Just keep practicing and you will get the hang of it. Let me know in the comment section if you have fished this fly before or what other emerging trico or midge patterns you like to fish. As you all know, I have gotten you all discounts from both www.risenfly.com and www.dooliesflyfishing.com. Dooley's offers great prices on all of the name brand fly tying materials, and Risen Fly manufactures their own hooks, rods, reels, and other gear for fly fishing. Their products are top quality, and best of all, they are priced very reasonably. Not only are the prices at these two shops great, but like I said, they are offering all of my subscribers a discount. So use McFly at checkout when ordering from either of these shops, and you will get an additional 15% off of their already great prices. I want to also thank all of my Patreons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel, and also get some great perks like early access to my videos, 
participate in live streams, and more. So go to www.patreon.com forward slash mcflyangler to sign up today. I also thank all of you who share all my videos with your friends and your continued support by hitting the like buttons and subscribing. Thank you for making these videos possible. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.